Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Derek Dunlap, the positive marketer, coming right back at you with another positive marketing tip for today. And let me just say happy Monday. It's Monday. It's my favorite day of the week because I have a whole six days to reach out and speak and network with like-minded people of the same interest. I had a great, great, great weekend. Unfortunately, my Detroit Lions did not pull the trigger this weekend. But uh, Saturday night, I had a chance to watch some great, great fights on HBO. I am a very, 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 very high-level boxing fan. How was your weekend? How was your week? I hope everything was great for you guys. And I appreciate you tuning in on this podcast. And once again, I just wanted to say thank you. You could be anywhere, anywhere on this huge, huge platform we call the internet, but you chose to be here with me today. And I am very, 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 very thankful. Now, today, the marketing tip will be about Facebook marketing. Now, I'm going to tell you right out of the gate, this will probably be a three or four part series. Okay, that is how in depth I'm going to go about Facebook because uh, I got about over the weekend, I probably got uh, maybe 13 or 14 inboxes from individuals asking me what is the best way to market, to start generating leads, to start building a business on a very low budget, okay? And I was just thinking, you know, when when my budget was funny, when my money was funny, how did I start off? And I was thinking, and video marketing came up in my mind, and blogging came up in my mind, and, you know, but then I thought about, wait a minute, what about Facebook? What about Facebook? And then, you know, the light bulb, I went to my quiet space and I just started meditating on it to give you guys this information that I'm going to give you today. And it was just so crystal clear. Derek, tell them about Facebook and how they can generate high quality targeted leads just like you do on a daily basis right from Facebook. So here we are. And we're going to start off just talking about how to generate high quality targeted leads For your business, okay? But what I need for you guys to do first is just to think about exactly what is your business or your brand or product. What are you promoting? Okay, that's the first thing. Okay, are you a network marketer? Are you an affiliate marketer? Okay, do you have a brick and mortar business, a physical product? What are you offering? Are you a coach? Are you a specialist? Okay. You have to figure out first before you even start doing any marketing. Okay. Figure out what is your service or your brand. Okay. Now, once you figure out what's your service or your brand, now we have to figure out where is our marketplace. Okay. Who are we targeting? For an example, if you are a network marketer, okay, and you're in a specific network marketing company, then you might target like-minded network marketers with similar interests, okay? Another example, if you are an affiliate marketer, Okay, and you're marketing a specific product in the weight loss industry, then you might want to target people who are interested in losing weight. Okay, if you're a coach and your greatest asset is self help or or a mentorship, okay then you might want to target people, right, who are into, you know, starting a brand new business online. You have to target 
the people that fit in your specific brand. Does that make sense? I know a lot of times when people begin their marketing strategies, okay, they go after a broad group of people, never targeting their specific niche all the way down to race, age, um, location, city, country, okay? We have to be specific about who we're targeting, and we'll get more into detail about how to do that on another podcast, okay? So now that we know our targeted market or a specific group of people that we want to target, how do we do that on Facebook for free, okay? Now, this is how you do that. Now, let's go all the way back to the basics. I know there's some people that are more advanced that listen to this podcast, but let's, let's go back to the basics for one minute. Because I assure you, a lot of the seasoned people miss this first step totally, totally. If you miss this first step, then it's going to be that much harder for you to attract the type of people that you're looking for. Now, we're going to go all the way back to our Facebook profile, okay? Not our fan page, but our Facebook profile. And there are key elements that have to be put in place in order for this whole targeting system to work, okay? What I want you to remember is the first impression of you, which is your profile, will be the last impression that a new prospect or lead, okay, or like-minded networker, that's what they're going to remember when they go to your profile, Okay, so let's start with your profile photo. All right. Now, believe it or not, this is the most missed space on the profile. You should have a profile of you and a warm, kind of like calm profile of you because how can I explain this? I can only just tell you. Through my eyes, when I go to a profile and I'm looking for people to network with of of the same interest, the first thing I do is I look at that profile. And I don't, for say so much, judge that person, but I see specific photo images that make me more inquisitive to click on more information on that profile. Uh, For example, if I went to a specific Facebook page and I saw a profile with a young lad holding $10,000 cash in his hand, then nine times out of 10, uh, I would just leave that profile, okay? Because that's what was done probably 10 years ago, okay? That's kind of spammy to me. But now if I went to a profile and I saw uh, a, a father with his child on his lap and they both were smiling and, you know, then I would be more inquisitive to see a little more about this particular person. Are you guys with me? Okay, so make sure your profile photo represents you. It's just a photo of you, your family, you and your wife, okay? Nothing too harsh or drastic or spammyish. okay? Also, your, your header image, okay? Absolutely make sure that you do not have URLs and links in your cover photo. Now, I know this is going to be totally against what some of you guys are doing, but I'm just telling you from a, you know, elite marketing point of view. If you want to stand out, if you want to separate yourself from the masses, if you want to be unique, Okay, then these are the things that you have to do because probably 98 out of 100 people have their business that they're promoting the URL right in the cover photo. And it's just a I don't know, it's just a turn off when you're looking for elite marketers. And we're going to talk about why you want to network with elite marketers. Okay, that's where your fastest growth is going to come from attracting elite marketers into your networking platform, okay? So, 
Cover photo, no URLs, profile picture, calm, warm, a warm picture of you. And you want your picture to be like in the physical if you say, hey, hi, my name is Derek Dunlap and you are? You guys know what I'm saying? Not, hey, I'm Derek Dunlap and I'm a rich son of a bee, right? Holding a bunch of cash. And trust me, I've made that mistake before in some of my marketing ca campaigns because I did it the same way I would do if I was an affiliate marketer uh, promoting a affiliate product. And this is the way we used to do it back in, you know, 2008, 2007. But things have changed now. Remember, uh, Facebook was built for social networking. That's where Facebook came from. They built it for people to social network and engage and share, you know, ideas and opportunities. It's a social networking platform. Okay, so you have to remember that. All right. Now, make sure in your about section, this is what's going to separate you from the masses. I'm telling you, when you go this extra mile, when people come back to your profile page, see you, okay, and check you out, check out all your stats, find out what you're about, these boxes, T's, and I's have to be crossed and dotted, okay? You want to be the authority, the expert in your particular brand or niche. Make sure you have a complete bio, about yourself filled out about you what is your business okay tell them a little bit about you make sure they have your that's now this these are the spaces where you put your urls and your blog and your contact information and what you've been up to and how long you've been in the industry and what can you do for them and who you're looking for these are the places right that your elite we call them wells. That's what they look for. OK, that's how they decide if they want to network with you or not, not on your cover photo, you know, and not in your timeline, just being hammered and spam with what you're doing. When a person is interested in you, when you attract the type of person that you want to network with and market with, trust me, they hit your about page. Right. They click on your photos. Right. They go through your videos. You don't have to tell them they're going to do that instinctively when they're attracted to you by the tips and techniques that I'm going to I'm going to be sharing with you guys on exactly how to attract these people. OK, so profile photo, warm welcome, cover photo, warm welcome. Now, what can you put in that cover photo? Just a warm picture. It could be a sunrise. It could be nature. It could be you uh, doing your passion. If you're a golfer, whatever, just make it warm and spam free. Okay. Now you're going to have to trust me on this one. Trust me on this one. This is going to work like a charm when I start showing you how to specifically target the people that you are looking for right into your specific brand, okay? Now, let's do a quick recap because I want you to take action on what I just explained to you in this podcast. I want you to start, you know, setting up your profile the way we talked about today, okay? And you should have been thinking about what exactly your business is and how to target that specific person that you're looking for all the way down to age and race and uh, gender, okay, and location, all right? We also talked about how important it was for your first image, the first impression that that person is going to think when they come to your Facebook profile. What impression do you want to give this person? Because they're going to have to decide right then and there, right then and there, if they want to take action and start clicking on your about section and your photos and your videos, and then they're going to scroll down your timeline. OK, so all of these things are important right in the beginning. We're going back to the basics. So get you a nice profile photo. Then I want you to upload a nice, 
cover photo. I want you to fill out your about section in detail. This is the place that you put all of your information, not on your timeline cover or your, your timeline. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So write a nice bio about yourself. Tell them everything that you want them to know in the about section. And tomorrow, okay, I'm going to come back and we're going to pick up where we left off today. And I'm going to take you step by step and show you how to attract endless amounts of targeted high quality leads on Facebook. This is Derek Dunlap. I hope you enjoyed this podcast today. Now, remember, take action. Don't just listen to these podcasts. Take action today. I challenge you to take these steps, put them into action, and see if you don't start to attract the type of people that you only dreamed about networking with right from Facebook. I'll see you tomorrow. This is Derek Dunlap with another positive marketing tip for today. See you tomorrow. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is a special bonus for those of you who have made it to the end of this video, okay? If you would like a visual step-by-step looking over my shoulder as I break down and actually let you watch my screen and go over everything that we talked about on today's podcast, head over to DerekDunlaps.com. That's my blog. I'm going to allow you to look right over my shoulder and I'm going to show you step by step everything that we went over in today's podcast. Okay, so now you'll have a audio and a visual to help you implement the things that we went over today and through this Facebook marketing process. It's my way of just saying thank you for tuning in. Go over to DerekDunlaps.com right now so you can look over my shoulder and watch everything that we went over today. Thank you and have a blessed day.